Did you guys miss me? Okay, so um, happy 2023. Um, yeah, so I am back vlogging. I've been gone for about a month, but basically, I don't know if you all follow me so far, but um, previously for like the last six months, I've been studying for my certified treasury professionals exam and i took the last month up until my exam to actually just study and spend time doing that so yeah i passed yeah. um and so yeah now i'm back to uh, making the content that you all know and love um currently i'm about to go get my hair done i have my hair done before at underscore kbz on instagram had did goddess braids on like my natural hair so that was real cute but it's been about it's been about three and a half weeks and it needs to be redone so i'm going to courtney um this girl that i used to go to high school with and she's gonna actually trim my ends which need to be trimmed real bad i haven't done that like professionally in a long time i've just been doing it myself but she's going to um clip my ends wash my hair blow dry whatever whatever and then i'm gonna get like triangle triangle like a triangle part twist out so we'll see how that goes i don't know if i'm gonna like that or not because i generally don't like twists but she only she only really does twists so i mean it could be cute i like this so the protective style was really giving um I, it was so low maintenance and i'm like wow we love a low maintenance girl and it was still cute but anywho um she's all the way in gary indiana and i'm already knowing i'm gonna be late because it's already 11 37 and it takes 32 minutes to get there my appointment's at 12 so i'll see y'all when i get there we have a reservation for something like that amira my cousin i just want to say how happy i am for you oh. ezra girl okay many hours later um, so I'm back from my event. So we had our pink goes red for heart healthy. Ooh, let's get caught in my glasses. Our pink goes red for heart healthy month event, um, which was so cute. We did like Zumba and then we had a little cooking class and it was very nice. It was just internal with the chapter. It was so cute and nice. Um, but yeah, y'all, so here's my hair. Got triangle parts, cool. It's a little tender there. Um, but yeah, I. I mean, this is still blow dried, so it's like a little stretch, but I cut a lot of my hair off. Like, I my split ends were so bad. Like, I thought that since I was like periodically dusting and trimming that it would not look like that, but I literally could not sit through the blow dry. Like, I'm already tender headed and I was just like basically for to be in tears. And so I was like, it was probably like, I'm trying to think of that picture. Like, it was probably like this much and in some areas like a little bit more, which is like, at least it was probably like six inches worth of split ends. It was just like not like transparent, but like giving transparent. And so I had her, I couldn't part with all of it. I just couldn't do it. So I was like, cut about cut about a little bit over half. So she probably cut like a good 4.5 inches off. So we're gonna see what it looked like once it's curly again, but yeah. So, anyways, um, I just came home because I really had to pee. Um, but I need to go eat something because my mama already ate without me, but I was like gone the whole day basically. So I'm gonna go get some food and then I'm gonna just chill for the rest of the night because I have step practice in the morning. So I need to go to bed because it's at 930. So yeah. Hope you guys like my hair. <laughs> okay, hey y'all. Um, it is the next, next day, I guess. I had a really bad yesterday, so I couldn't even film. I got nothing done. So I have a lot of stuff to do today. So I need to go to the airport because somebody ordered a paddle and a trunk, a cute paddle and a trunk, and she's a flight attendant. So she, instead of me shipping it, she just flew here. And I was like, girl, you ain't gotta come to my house. I'll just come to you. So I'm gonna go drop that off. Um, I have a family member in the hospital, so I'm gonna go visit them. And then I'm gonna go to the gym. And then I need to go mail, like put my sister's care package together because I was supposed to do that yesterday and mail it, but I was just just that just didn't happen so we're gonna do all of that hopefully i can read my book today hold on let me show y'all my book so i've really been loving this book okay period and i just ordered a new bookmark um and it's black history month and i'm so excited for it to come i got ariana grande bookmark now i was contemplating putting my ariana grande bookmark in my 
fuck but i love ariana grande so we're gonna do it anyways um but yeah comment down below if you guys read this before the tiktok girlies put me on and i'm loving this so far i really don't like reading love stories that involve like high schoolers i feel like that's weird like especially because i'm 24 so like the relatability like i don't know i just feel like that's weird but i do like it so far so do i wish they were in, like in college or like my age yes but i do like it so yeah i will see you guys in the car or at the airport or wherever we do this drop off at so okay so i just left the airport i'm at dollar tree because i am like putting together my sister's valentine's day care package and there's one thing that i have been trying to find i've already gone to like four dollar trees and i can't find it and i know they have it because i'll be watching my dollar tree hauls but you know every dollar tree is different so some be having stuff and some don't be having stuff and some have other new things and some don't have other new things some have other new things and whatever whatever you get the point so i'm gonna try this one hopefully they have it because this is like the one thing that i was like actually excited about because i was like oh this is so cool so i'm trying to find it you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna switch my plans i'm gonna wait till my mama get home to go to the hospital so i'm gonna just go straight to the gym and then i'll probably find some little foods to eat and i don't really have nothing else to do today like yeah so now that i'm done with my test i don't have to like study all the time and use my time doing that so i don't even know what to do with myself yeah, but I'm still, like, low-key not in a good mood, so I don't want to, like, go see my friends or talk to anybody. I just want to be by myself, so, yeah. So, that's the vibes. Let's see if they have it. Okay, so they didn't have what I was looking for, but I had two things that actually were on my wish list, and I found one of them. So, these Haribo Sweet and Sour Hearts. I got two bags, one for me and one for my sister. She got a lot of candy in this care package, so I hope that you don't fall out. But let's do a little taste test because I've been seeing all the Dollar Tree girlies. I'm a part of the watching Dollar Tree haul girlies community. And all the Dollar Tree girlies have been talking about these and how good they are. So one of them is obviously sour and one of them is obviously sweet. So here's the pink one. Okay, I think that was a sour one. They're both strawberry. And then the red one. Yeah, this is the sweet one. Okay. Okay, Haribo. Okay, then I also got some water. People got beef with Aquafina. I honestly can't taste the difference, so I just need some water to go to the gym because all I bought was Gatorade, but this might be too sweet. So, yeah. And then they had Kiss Nails at the Dollar Tree. These be like anywhere from seven to ten dollars and i love kiss nails because they're the only nails that have like um like really small pinkies and my pinky is really small and so and it just matches the shape of my finger perfectly so i got these even though they were red i thought they were pink when i was like looking because they had them behind the desk like behind the counter where you check out and i was like you know what i'll take them whatever they're a dollar 25 so yeah i got that and i got these and these are yucky Haribo doesn't normally come out with like new candies. They just keep, you know, their same line that they always pick. So, yeah. I still eating these since I'm going to the gym, but these are good. So, yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym, period. Okay, so I am back at home from the gym. I had some, what is that, pot bellies, because I was craving a sandwich and I haven't had pot bellies in like years, low key. Has it been years? I have been months. It's been a long time, basically that's the point. Um, so I'm going to do my sister's care package. I prepped this last night in the middle of the night because I had a burst of creative energy. I don't know if that'd be happening to people, but I like keep like post-it notes in my bathroom. I have like an ongoing like note section in my bedroom because I be having these like sparks of creativity or like having ideas and stuff like that. And I need to write it down so I don't forget because they be good ideas. And so I had like a burst of energy in the middle of the night amongst feeling like how I was feeling and I was like let me just put this together so that it's easy when I like start putting the care package together because I should already did this by now so basically what I'm gonna do is um it's an inside joke between me and my sister we always be saying like don't you love your sissy or don't you love your mommy and that's what I'm gonna put on the box don't you love your sissy as a valentine's day play on words inside joke whatever um so yeah so I have these I have a whole bunch of stickers like 
lots of lots of stickers and things um and there is munchkin um so i'm gonna use these glitter stickers to spell that out and because some of the panels are red and some of the panels are pink i'm gonna use like the darker pink versus the lighter pink and yeah so we're gonna see how that looks because we're we're just gonna see so yeah okay so i think i want to put a little bit of glue on these just so that if like these stickers are probably not yeah they just yeah they just came right off see so yeah i'm gonna put a little bit of glue tacky glue because it's just more heavy duty and then school glue because that dries faster um so a combination of those should be just fine and we're gonna see if this turns out cute because i really don't have a game plan i just know what i want to write but i didn't like see if it was gonna look cute or not so mm. see i already don't like how small these letters are that's what i already don't like and then i want them to lay flat so they don't slide yeah okay we'll see Okay, so let's do a quick overview of everything I got. Okay, so I got her some Bath and Body products, some eyelashes, exfoliating glove, this cute little pink loofah, and then this spray hand sanitizer that I found. That's super cute. I got her this three-in-one mirror. You can like sit it up or you can hang it. Um, this cute little makeup brush that has like sprinkles in it. Some uh, makeup cloths that you can like, you only have to use water, you have to use makeup wipes. Um, then I got like some colorful tissue paper and treat bags and then this little customized um mailbox that we had when we had our valentine's day party during covid i'm gonna just fill stuff up with that a card some socks and then this is um like a lotion and a spray from pink i got her two types of sour patch kids candies the little black raspberry hearts and then the little pink and red hearts these are from trader joe's these uh jelly beans lots of candy some for rochers i got her some um red and white junior mints Reese's Pieces, the sour gummies that we talked about earlier, and then she likes these crunchy rice rolls as a treat. So let's put it all together. Okay, so y'all know me. I like to wrap everything so that's like an extra surprise. Like you already got a surprise in the box, but then it's like an extra surprise when everything is all wrapped. So these are super cute. This has little hearts on it and it's red. And basically I just take the tissue paper and it doesn't have to be perfect or anything like that. Take a piece of tissue paper. I look, you probably could cut one of these down, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> Take that the box. Wrap it up. I like so. Get some tape. You just wrap it up like it's a little Christmas present. And boom. Yeah, it's kind of see-through, but like, that's not the point. The whole point is the joy of opening something up. Like, it's just more fun when you open stuff up. Like, I hate using Christmas bags for Christmas because it's just a certain joy that comes with unwrapping something. Like, you just want to unwrap it and be like, ooh, what is it? Like, is it a special secret? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll double it so that it's less translucent. I'm going to see if that works. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works. She's gonna be like, why are you giving me all this candy? You can't never say you don't got no sweet treat. Okay? Can't never say that. Can't never say you don't have a sweet treat. And then you just do that. Some stuff I'm gonna put in like 
the little baggie, some stuff I'm gonna put in her little mailbox. And yeah, that's basically all I do. And then I just package it all up. So I'll do this and then I'll come back once I'm done because this is boring to watch. Just go watch some of my other care package videos. I have a whole playlist for my care packages. So go ahead and go click on that if you guys want some cute ideas. Okay, here's the aftermath. I didn't know how to put that little hand sanitizer in something this. Um, it's cute. I'm gonna just throw it in there. And then I really love these little bags. Oh my God, aren't they so cute? So yeah, I'm gonna just throw all this stuff in the box and we're done. Period. Okay, I like to go like biggest to smallest. So let's see. Cadence for the chant and we are moving. So this is gonna be kind of difficult but we can look at it. Alpha, so, Kappa, Alpha. Alpha. Yeah. Okay, wait, one more again. Alpha. So, A-L-P-H-A, K. Salutations. I feel like I have been struggling this week to vlog. Like, I don't know, this has just not been a good week for me. Anywho, as you can see, I'm in the airport. Um, I'm on my way to Dallas. I'm doing like a one, literally like a one night trip. Um, for work, I have meet with my client tomorrow in the morning, but I decided to get here the night before because I don't like rushing and like traveling to business clothes. So I'm gonna get here the night before. Um, so yeah, I have a layover in Austin, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'll be in Dallas and I have some little activities that I'm used to fill my time. You know how I do. So I'll take you guys along with that. But otherwise, we're in the airport. Also, I just ate breakfast in the airport, which I've never done before for real. Like actually sat down and ate breakfast. Um, but I'm walking, my flight isn't for another 40 minutes, but I'm walking because I can feel all the food in my stomach. So I'm trying to like get some of that off before I sit on this plane. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. only place in the room that this lighting is horrible in here okay i don't know why like i just feel like there's been bad juju around my life for like the last week and a half but i left my corporate card so i just had to pay for this hotel on my own money which is fine but because i think i could do reimbursement but that's just like why did I decide now I want to change wallets? And like normally I have like a card holder that has all my main cards. So like, you know, like my debit card, my credit card, ID, stuff like that. But then because my corporate card is not my personal, I leave it like in the wallet, but not in my little card holder. So when I take the card holder out, if I'm like wearing a mini purse or just throwing something in my pocket, I don't take my corporate card because I don't want to accidentally swipe my corporate card when I'm out doing personal things. But because I changed the actual wallet, thing that I hold my cards and my cash and whatever in I didn't put that in there if that makes sense so that just really blew me but anyways we're in Dallas it's actually really good weather like I have on a sweatshirt and it feels good outside it looks like there's like stuff walking distance so I'm gonna see if like the little um stuff that I wanted to see is in walking distance because I don't have to keep paying for Ubers um, but I can't pay for Ubers because my corporate card is on my phone. I just don't have the physical card. You know, you need that for a hotel. But I wanted to give you a quick room tour with this. Look at this. What is this lighting? I'm going to give you a quick room tour. Okay, so when you walk in, you literally walk into the bathroom. So here is like the little sink situation. And then they have one of these silly bathrooms where like there's no door. So... And they have one of those showers, which I feel like are anti-black, but you know, whatever. And then here's a toilet room. You know what I'm saying? Here's me, period. Um, The bed. And then like, this is supposed to be like one of the nice views in the room, but it looks like they're doing construction. So there's that. Um, And then yeah, like the TV setup and everything. So, you know, it's a nice room or whatever. Um, It's probably like my second no, nothing beats the Knickerbocker. Sorry. There's no girl that's that's met her. Um, but traveling so far, I think, obviously, the Knickerbocker, my favorite. And this will be soon. 
she not bad. So she's number two, she's number two. And yeah, so I think I'm gonna go and get some food. Even though I'm not really hungry, but I just feel like I need to eat, especially because the other thing that I wanna do is like sweets related. So I don't wanna be like on an empty stomach and then by the time I get there, then I'm gonna be hungry. So I feel like I should get barbecue. Is that like bad? <laughs> Cause I'm in Texas, like I feel like that's what you do. So I'm gonna look up some place to see if there's anything in walking distance and then we're gonna go. So yeah. Okay. It's hella little like shops and stuff on this street. So I was like, F the map, I'ma just walk, see what I can find. I know it's a Chipotle there, so if all else fails, I could just get Chipotle. Um but yeah, there's like a little cinema. I was hoping I was next to the mall. But the mall closes at six o'clock anyways and it's already five, so I guess that's a dub, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a little walk seat. Why did this bus just pass me that said it was a massage, massage chair tour? So like, it's like a tour bus, but everybody's sitting in massage chairs. Is this a movie theater? <laughs> um, this is a nice little area. Uh, but like, I look you gonna do that. So how do I get bored? <laughs> this restaurant you know i'm basic i'm gonna mess around and go to chipotle what they got over here pasta pizza sandwich. but everything is like closing early because it's, it's super bowl sunday so everything closes in like 30 minutes hatchworks ain't nobody up in there it's not nobody in none of this stuff you know what i'm saying so i have to go with dusty trusty you know what i'm saying Okay, so I found this little place that has these like special little desserts and drinks and stuff. So we gonna check it out. That's so cute. Cause let's get into this. Strong. Y'all know I can't go nowhere without trying stuff. This is really cute and really good. I'm mostly eating the candy because you know I don't drink and my tongue is tingling. But it's good. I got the like apple one or whatever. So, yummy. I'm back. So I have my boozy cupcakes and then I have my drink. It was very good. Oh, my tongue used to be so red, but I guess not red no more. But I had my drink. I did not finish that drink. I probably, if the cup was this big, I probably had this much. I ate mostly just the candy. I think I could have made it non-alcoholic. I should have asked her that. But when I, I said, I took a big gulp, I said, Lud. and then my tongue was sizzling. I'm like, oh my God, why did I get this? So I have to save these for later because my tummy cannot handle all of this. These look so cute. I got cookies and cream. Well, I don't kind of threw them around, but I got cookies and cream. They were cute in the bag. Why didn't I cute the bag no more? Oh. Well, it's a black woman-owned business. So if you're in the Dallas area, you should check it out. She was so cute and tiny, but it was cute in the bag. It's not cute in the bag no more. But this one is a chocolate fudge, and then this one's cookies and cream. And then I got like the sour apple drink don't quote me on it um but it was it was tasty it just was alcoholy and you know that's not really me but i i wanted to you know it's about the experience so tomorrow so basically what i'm gonna do is what am i gonna do okay so basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a shower prepare myself for bed get into bed and then i'll probably just watch tiktoks and youtube until i fall asleep then there's another place i want to try it's called yummy donuts and i want to see if they can make me some custom ctp donuts period um and then i'm gonna eat breakfast there i'm gonna come back to the hotel change so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wake up at because they open at six so i think i'm gonna wake up at eight be out of here by like 8 30 i'm not gonna take that long it's only four minutes away in an uber so uh, uh what was i gonna say um eat there be back before 12 because i don't have to check out until 12 so be back and then i can change into my like stuff for um change into my stuff for my meeting go over my documents i need to be the meeting is, is at 11 30 and i just checked the gps location and that is also four minutes away 
So as long as I'm back by 10 and I'll be dressed because I already would have showered and stuff. So I'll be dressed. Then get dressed, go to the meeting. I think my flight is at 6 p.m. And so I highly doubt that that meeting is going to be longer than two hours. I highly doubt it'll be an hour. So if it's, let's say, let's give it two hours. Let's say 1.30. I want to be at the airport by an hour and 15 minutes before because the way the lines were set up was looking a little shady and I'm like, I don't want to get caught up in that. But I do want to go to the Dallas Aquarium. So that's what I'll be doing. Once I come back from my meeting, I'm going to go to the Dallas Aquarium. And then from the Dallas Aquarium to the airport. So, you know me, I'm not going to go somewhere and try not to get an experience in. Okay? One thing about me, I'm going to do an excursion. One thing about me, we're not going to just go somewhere just to go. Like, no. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. But go try that place, Alki Therapy daiquiris and desserts i think that's what it's called that was the whole name um so yeah go try that place if you're in the dallas land area it's really cute black owned and period i'm gonna take a shower Yummy. okay so i got the goods they don't make custom donuts even though that was on their website but apparently they don't do that so um and they don't have hot tea so I got, I think I got a heart shaped donut, a powder donut, and like a tea donut. Um, and so I'm gonna go to McDonald's because I'm like, how many has some donuts and nothing to drink it with? I just want more water and want some tea. So apparently there's one six minutes away. So that's what we're doing. There's also this little cute feminine, like business clothes store and everything is pink, but I don't know if they're open, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna walk past it. Now, classic feminine, things of that nature they don't open till 10 o'clock but look like how freaking cute but they're not open so it don't matter here i am on my way have arrived at the mcdonald's they have this little deal a sausage biscuit and a hash brown for two dollars fifty cents I might grab that to give me some protein. Oh my God, are they not open on the inside? Are you kidding me? That can't be true. Texas, come on now, it's nine o'clock. Let's, let's wake up. See, there's the deal. But hopefully I can get in here. How did I have no tea? <sighs> okay, I guess I'll be tea-less. I'm at the W, but I can't meet you in the lobby. Girl, I gotta watch my bag, cause I'm not just anybody. Okay, so my meeting is over, and I'm about to go to the aquarium. OOTD, sweats. It's about 60 degrees here, so I can not wear a coat. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I hope they're gonna take my bag again, because I already checked out. So I hope that they'll check my bag one more time so that I don't have to carry this big old bag with me. And it's like a 14 minute walk, so I'm not even gonna Uber, I'm gonna just walk over there. And yeah, that meeting was really, really short and my flight is now for another seven hours. So I need to figure out what to do with our guy. So that's what we're gonna do. It's the sun going in and out for me, but we've arrived. World Aquarium, Dallas World Aquarium. I can hear birds in this though. They got all type of animals over here. But yeah, I was on the phone with my mom the whole entire time, but I just basically walked. It was only like 12, 15 minutes. But yeah, the Dallas World Aquarium. Even Dallas Zoo, not Aquarium. What in the world are these things? Oh, it's the ant eater. It's a little Arthur. And look at this toucan. This is really pretty. Child, I thought I was going to the Aquarium. We in the Rainforest Cafe. 
these, I think they're supposed to be otters because they're out right now. But yeah, this is not giving no aquarium. This is giving jungle. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, and what you do. That's why I'm mine. Spend my life with you. I won't please you in any way I can. I won't share my world. Don't you understand? Honestly, this place is not giving aquarium. It's giving zoo. They got everything. A million birds. And everything. Wish me luck, friends. First of all, I'm speeding back because there's a flight in an hour <laughs> that I'm gonna see if I can try to change my flight to. I just tried to do it over the phone and they wouldn't let me do it because of the travel agency that my job booked it through. So I'm gonna see if I can go to the airport and actually get it changed. If not, I still have another like four hours to be here, but I don't know where to go because my reservation's up. So we're gonna see. My, I booked my Uber and my Uber is gonna get there at the same exact time as me walking to get there. So I'm rush walking, but my, my hair look good as I walk in the wind. And this lighting is good. Okay, y'all, so it's the next day. I am home and obviously in my craft room where I always am. But I just wanted to end this vlog here because it's been a lot of footage over a lot of days in the vlog these days. But I want to show you this paddle I just made. Cause it low-key ate. Like, hold on. Like, come on, BFFR. This kind of go crazy. I added the little buttons. I thought I had wooden buttons, but I guess I don't. So, or I just can't find them. But yeah, so this is the paddle she eats i fear but yeah so just gonna end the vlog here like comment and subscribe if you know the vibes and see you guys in the next video bye